What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today, we are gonna be talking about why you need to be investing. I have a different style of video today. It is a PowerPoint presentation and it's pretty simple, but I feel like it'll nail the point down. I myself am a visual learner, so I, do, I did include some pictures and stuff in there, but without further ado, let's jump into the video. If you guys do see my cat poke out, he is, there's a little cat bed, he is taking a little nap. Uh, my buddy Moo over there. All right, so why you need to invest. By the way, let me know if you guys like this style video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, I have the webcam in the corner. Let me know how that is. But, uh, you know, we're just going to try out some different stuff. Why you need to invest. Investing for beginners. I like the little the graphic where you can uh, see the little money tree grow over time. All right, so the number one reason... This isn't in any specific order, guys. There are four reasons I'm gonna be talking about today. Number one is time. Arguably, this can be you know, one of the most important ones. So the earlier you start investing, the better. That's a pretty simple concept. By the way, I wish, just taking a moment, I wish this stuff, I learned this stuff 10 years ago, guys. I'm 28 years old. You know, if I knew this stuff back when I was like 18 or even, you know, younger, that would be amazing. Like they didn't teach me this in school. Here, let's actually just play all these through some pictures. Time in the market is better than timing the market. Meaning the longer you have your money invested, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 plus years, the more the, your money is going to work for you. You're going to have compounding interest, which we're actually going to get to in a second here. Your money is essentially working for you 24 seven. So it's better to essentially invest as early as you can, which is essentially the point of this video. Uh, bring into the third point. Time is your best friend and your greatest asset. You guys might've heard the phrase time is your greatest asset. It's not money. You can always make more money guys. You can never get time back. Once time is gone, it's gone forever, you know? And then uh, last point here, a little fun fact. Warren Buffett started investing when he was 11. I think it was 11. I found different sources saying it was like 10, 12, 13. But essentially, this dude, who is arguably the greatest investor of all time, started investing when he was 11 years old. So essentially, again, the sooner you start, the younger you start, the better you're going to have your money essentially work for you all right number two second reason to invest now compound interest so that's something i just touched on let's get all these through i'm going to go over these uh these two graphs with you guys in a minute here so essentially compound interest is interest that earns interest interest on interest it's kind of the simplest way I can uh, phrase it. Albert Einstein said it's the most powerful force in the universe. He called it the eighth wonder of the world. So to paraphrase what I said earlier, essentially your money makes money and then you make more money on the money your money makes. <laughs> so if that's not too confusing, just refer to the interest that you earn on interest. So it's a beautiful thing, compound interest, having your money work for you 24 seven. So even while you're sleeping, you know, having your money, if you've been investing into the stock market for let's say 10, 20 years, you know, obviously the market goes ups and down, up and down, but over time it, it goes up. Like the average return of what the S&P 500 is, I think roughly 8%, eight, nine, 10%. Um, so let's jump into one of these graphs here. So the first one, again, so this one assumes an 8% interest rate compounded annually. Um, the power of compounding. So this example shows how the earlier a person starts investing for retirement, the more the money has, the more time the money has to grow. So again, that was touching on what I talked about earlier with time. Uh, investor number one, which is the green one here, starts at age 25. So they start earlier than investor number two, 10 years earlier. They set aside 5,000 per year for 10 years. 
and then no investments after age of 34. So they just put money in for 10 years and then nothing in after that. Everything is just essentially compounding interest growing. Um, so investor number two starts at age 35 and they set aside 5,000 per year for 30 years. And then you, so you can see the difference. This, uh, it, the investor number one has roughly 150,000 more at the same age all because they started investing 10 years earlier even though this person set aside more money so you guys can see the power of time and compounding interest they kind of work together uh, and then the second graph I uh, is just another visual graph again I'm a visual learner so if any of you guys are visual learners or it just helps to see you know graphs or pictures and uh, this one is just year, so it starts at two years, goes all the way to 40 years. And then, so the, the yellow is the deposits and the purple, like meaning the money they put into the account. And the purple is interest. So money that they've earned from keeping their money into the investment account. So it, it says right here, in the first compounding period, the interest is small. So it starts off really small. You guys can barely, you know, there's no purple barely anything barely anything it starts off really small and then over time the interest starts drastically increasing and it becomes a big deal so you guys can just see the power of compounding interest with time and that's kind of why you can see why albert einstein is now calling it the eighth wonder of the world it's a beautiful thing so okay number three we're going to move on to why you should be investing it's never been easier so in 2021, I'm recording this video in 2021. Let's see, technology and the internet have made it easier than ever to start investing. Click through these. Many apps let you start with as little as a dollar. So I don't know off the top of my head which apps, I think M1 Finance, you need to put in like $100, which is the gra or the picture shown here. That's the person, that's the brokerage I use, by the way, guys, that you've seen in my other videos. If you've seen my other videos, um, there is a link below in the description. I think as of the recording of this video, they are giving away a free $30. So if you do use the link and you do sign up, essentially you get a free 30 bucks. That helps the channel out. I do get a free $30. They are always changing that, so it depends on if you're watching this video in the future, it could be different. Um, but yeah, essentially just starting with as little as a dollar, um, sometimes a hundred bucks, either way, it, it doesn't take much money to start investing. I did not include this in the slide, which I should have, but um, you can also, a lot of brokerages let you use fractional shares like Robinhood, M1 Finance, you can buy fractional shares uh, Webull does not. I know Webull is another popular brokerage, um, but that does, you know, that is a nice feature. And then uh, you do not need to be an expert to reach financial independence. So a lot of uh, things I see these days, so like, or a lot of, I don't, maybe excuses or what people say is, I'm not an expert. I, I don't want to lose money, or they're, you know, they're scared um, to start investing. They, they think you need to be some sort of guru, guru to be you know to reach financial independence which is just not the case um, it's easier than ever you know you start with a dollar hundred bucks you open up an account something I would recommend as far if you know if you're just brand new starting off is look into like ETFs essentially it's a bunch of companies grouped up into a single uh, holding and like uh, VU VOO tracks the S&P 500 um, so just again do your own research guys it's not super scary stuff but you do need to um the important thing is just getting started because essentially if you're investing into like say the s p 500 you're getting roughly an eight to ten percent return on average a year versus nothing you know or if you have like a savings account that earns one percent at most if that which doesn't even beat infl inflation so 8% compounding annually, you know, first nothing. So it's just like, you, you just gotta, it's, it's just something where, you know, if you want to reach financial independence, if you want to have money when you get older, you need to have an investing strategy. 
All right, last point out here. If you have a phone, you can start investing today. A lot of these brokerages, you just download the app, whether it's Robinhood, Webull, TD Ameritrade, there's tons of investing apps. Um, pick which one you like. Again, I use the M1 Finance, I love it. It's so easy, uh, this little little Johnny here who's looks like he's five can probably do it. Uh, just kidding, by the way. All right, last but not least, financial freedom. So number the fourth reason why you should be investing. Click through these. Here we go. So for myself and many other people, this is the main goal. You know, for me, the purpose of this channel is to kind of document my journey to financial freedom. It's to show you guys, uh, be transparent with my account, my M1 Finance account, watching it go up and down, and uh, just document the journey. So this is the main goal. You know, financial freedom is essentially living life on your own terms um, you know everyone has their own kind of definition of it all right let's jump into the second point the earlier you start investing and building a good investment strategy the earlier you can retire and live life on your own terms so essentially that's you know freedom you know financial freedom uh, I feel like this picture is really powerful you know this guy was it looks like he just reached financial independence, financial freedom. Again, that's going to vary person to person. Some people, you know, it, it's a very broad term. Um, some people, you know, it might mean a few hundred thousand to three hundred thousand. Some people me might mean one or two million, five million. You know, it really depends. Uh, maybe you're able to make a side hustle, um, your full time job, and maybe you view that as financial freedom. You know, it, it really depends. It's just a broad term, but I feel like this picture is very powerful, and I feel like this is uh, this is kind of a good way to end the video. Here is just something to something to think about. So let me know if you guys like this style video um, with the PowerPoint. Um, I'm I'm planning on doing more videos like this, and uh, let me know your guys' thoughts below. Um, have you started investing yet? Are you thinking about it? Um, if you guys have any questions, um, comment below. Again, check out the links. I do have a link for the M1 Finance. Um, if you guys want to see my portfolio, I, ha I have that below as well. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great morning, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you guys are. See you next time.